Welcome to the video. This video is about the pressure versus the stress. If there is a confusion and the meaning of these two terminologies, then this video will help you. So let's begin. What is pressure? Pressure is the external force per unit area. That is P is equal to F over A. Whereas F is external force that is acting perpendicularly on area A. Let's consider a rectangular box that is acted on by an external force F at its both ends. Its cross-sectional area is A. So on top surface, having area A, there is an external force F acting perpendicularly to the area. So the pressure will be equal to P is equal to F over A on its top surface. Let's put some random values for force and area. Pressure comes out to be 1000 Pascal or Newton per square meter. Same is true for its bottom surface, but the force is downward. Now coming to the stress. Stress is the internal force per unit area. That is, stress is equal to internal force over area A. Or in terms of Hooke's law, stress is equal to elastic modulus times strain. Or sigma is equal to E times epsilon. Again, considering the same rectangular box acted on by external forces at its both ends. Let's cut the box with an imaginary plane at the middle. It will become two portions. In order to keep each portion at equilibrium, there must be an internal force opposite to the external force. That internal force F acting on the internal area A at that section is stress. Therefore, stress is an internal phenomenon because it is caused by the internal force F at that section. Remember that no matter what the material is, stress is independent of that. Hooke's law has the material property elastic modulus, but that doesn't make stress material dependent, but strain is material dependent. For example, consider two rods having the same cross section and same external force has the same stress, but the amount of deformation is different, which is dependent on its elastic modulus. Higher the value of elastic modulus, lower the strain and vice versa. Both stress and pressure are geometric properties because of the geometric quantity A. Also, both stress and pressure have the same unit, Pascal, or Newton per square meter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and uh, I hope it has helped you, and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.